this is a SAS cable. And this, wait, we ain't doing that intro again. Let me try something else. And these are SAS cables. Hello, my name is Peter and you're watching Tech Jumbo. So what are SAS cables? SAS cables are cables that are used to connect HBAs to either external enclosures or internal drives or backplanes. There are two major types of SAS cables. You have the ones that are used for internal connections, like this one, like this one, and you have ones that are used for external connection, like this one. Usually the ones that are used for making internal connections have connectors made out of plastic, and the ones that are used to make external connections have robust metal connectors. In addition to being all metal, external SAS cables also have these locking mechanisms that help them stay in place if they ever get yanked. It practically just allows you to remain worry-free that a simple yank would unplug your storage units and make your storage system unusable. All of these cables are backwards compatible, meaning that a SAS3 cable will support SAS2 devices and SAS1 devices. You might have noticed that these cables have different types of connectors on there. Some have a mix, some have the same connector on both ends, and it all depends on what the use case is for the cable. For example, cables that have a QSFP plus connector on it are usually used with NetApp devices since they are special, right? But on the other hand, they have a regular SAS connector. In this case, it's SFF8088. I have another cable here that has SFF864 connector on one end and QSFP on another. This will also be used with a SAS device. This is more of a standard cable. We have SFF8088 on one end and SFF8644 on the other end. And this one, this would be 12 gigabits per second cable used with SAS3 devices. It has the same connector on both ends, which is SFF8644 connector. So uh, this is not a rule. But in most cases, SFF8644 cables are used with SAS3 devices, while SFF8088 cables are used with SAS2 devices. This is another type or style of a SAS cable. On one end, you have SFF8643 connector, which you will plug into your HBA. And on another end, we have four SAT or SAS connectors, which you can use to connect directly to your drives. When selecting your SAS cables, don't shy away from used ones. They are usually as good as the new ones and you can get them at a very good discount. One really important thing to pay attention to is the length of a SAS cable. Do not get a cable that's longer than you actually need. The signal will degrade over a longer cable and you really do not want that. Get a branded used SAS cable. There is really no need to go and pay a premium price for a new cable of some questionable brand when you can get a used one on eBay for almost nothing. And if it's by a reputable brand such as Amphenol or Molex, it's going to last you practically forever. In addition to connecting SAS devices to HBAs, cables like this one that was meant to be used with SAS3 HBAs and can support 12 gigabits a second link can be used to connect PCIe devices, drives or GPUs. So if you have a PCIe Express card that can route internal PCIe connection and has SFF8644 connectors on it, I don't see why you couldn't connect an external GPU if you had a proper enclosure for it, which also supports these connectors. There is just one important thing that I want to note when it comes to connecting PCIe devices with SAS cables. And that is that SAS cables will work perfectly fine with PCIe 3 devices, but they will not work fine with PCIe 4 and PCIe 5 devices. They can work properly, but you need special cables and you need PCIe expanders that support read drivers and have read drivers on them. So regular ones will not work. If you want to connect an internal PCIe device or you have an internal PCIe enclosure that supports PCIe devices, you need a cable like this. This cable was specifically made to connect 
PCA devices, it has additional insulation on it and it has insulation on more wires than the SAS cable does. Failing to choose a proper PCIe Express cable will cause connection drops, it will cause performance degradation and it will cause you a lot of headache. So please choose carefully. Okay, so to summarize, there are different types of HBA cables and there are different types of connectors that go onto those HBA cables. What you use really depends on your use case and your equipment. What HBA you have, what JBOD you have, what's the purpose of it. Are you satisfied with 6 gigabits per second connection or you, do you really need 12 gigabits per second connection? Those are the questions that you have to ask yourself and then choose appropriate cable for you. So that would be it for today's video describing different types of SAS cables with different connectors and with different use cases. If you like the video, press that like button. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.